throne, a fistful of glitter in the air. Have you ever felt just a little bit unique? That there is just something special and a little bit different about you? Well, if so, then you may have already found your setting. If not, don't be discouraged. My hope is by the end of this short video that you will be confident and encouraged to embark on a personal journey to find your own savvy. What is a savvy, you ask? I know, I didn't know either. The only time I ever heard of the word savvy was when pirates needed clarification of understanding. Ah, lower the sails, savvy. <laughs> but after I read Savvy by Ingrid Law, I learned that a savvy was kind of like a personalized superpower that only you knew about and that was generally hidden from others. But it was yours, and the savvy is what made you, you. Savvy begins and is told through the eyes of a 12-year-old girl named Mississippi Beaumont, Mibs for short. Her 13th birthday is right around the corner, and in the Beaumont family, that's a huge milestone. You see, on a Beaumont's 13th birthday, they receive their savvy. But the exciting and mysterious part of 13th birthdays in the Beaumont family is that you don't know your savvy until it strikes. Just before Mib turns 13, her papa gets into a really bad car accident. And now it's Mib's hope that her new savvy that she'll get on her 13th birthday will help save papa. Wrapped up in adventure and friendship and loyalty, Savvy will keep you on the edge of your seat and it will catch you by surprise in ways that you will never imagine. I would recommend Savvy to those who really like fantasy books. Some books I would relate it with are the Harry Potter series or the Chronicles of Narnia series, which are for older readers but still has those magical elements to it. I would also recommend um, if you really just like simple, short, easy, engaging reads, definitely read this book because you will not want to put it down. It is so filled with adventure right after the other that you'll just want to keep reading. So it's a great book to read if you're going on vacation or going on a two-hour flight or just want to have a relaxing day and need a good story. There's also number two um, and number three, Switch and Scumble. And so if you like Savvy, you could also read those as well. Savvy is definitely a quality book. As a fantasy book, it has so many magical elements in it, as adventures and love and family values, suffering and friendship, many things to learn from. Not only is it captivating read, but it really makes you feel like you're a part of the story. Like I said earlier, it is told through the perspective of Mibs, the daughter. But as you go on, you kind of get to hear other people's points of views as well. And I think that just really makes the readers feel more engaged and a part of the story. As a children's book, I think it is a quality book because the vocabulary is simple and not too hard to understand. Plus, there's also some uncommon words that help grow the reader's vocabulary. In addition, the text is large enough print so then the readers don't feel intimidated and rather it's an inviting read. What I really enjoyed about the book was I like to hear other people's thoughts. So I thought that Ingrid did a really great job putting the book into Mib's perspective. Like I mentioned earlier, you also get to hear other people's thoughts, which I think just adds to the authenticity of the story. In addition, I loved throughout the book seeing Mib's individuality and her independence and just her strong-willed character. I think it was pretty neat. Finally, what I really liked too and I, what I found probably most inspiring was just Mib's um, loyalty and her dedication and her love for her family. I want to read you my favorite quote and my favorite passage from the book. My favorite quote reads, I began to realize how hard it was to separate out all the voices to hear the single strong one that came just from me. This quote is my favorite because it is so relevant and so real to so many people. 
in life, we have so many different voices coming into our brains and just whispering to us. Um, voices from society telling us how we should look or what we should get. We have voices from other people just about their opinions and their expectations and their thoughts about us. And it really can affect how we live and how we feel. But I love that quote because it reminds us that we need to listen to that one important voice. And that one important voice is our own. Now I want to read you my favorite passage. You may think you've got no savvy, Papa, but you're wrong. You do have a savvy. You do. I thought back to everything I knew about Papa. I thought back to the story of how he met and courted Mama, never giving up until she finally agreed to marry him, even after Aunt Diana told him to shut off. I thought back to the world's largest porch swing and how Papa always vowed that he'd build this one all her own. I remembered Papa coming home from work late because he had been determined to pick out the very best special occasion dress that he could find. You do have a savvy, Papa. You do, I repeated over and over into his ear. This is my favorite passage because if you answer no to any of the questions that I asked in the beginning, I encourage you to rethink. Here is a passage where Mims is realizing that a savvy doesn't come because of what family line you're from. A savvy is what's inside of you, and it's inside of everyone. Because you see, Papa, he was normal. He lacked a savvy. But at this point, Mims realized that her pop, too, had a savvy. And it didn't matter where you come from, but it matters from what's inside you. Now, you may be thinking this is a bunch of hogwash and tomfoolery, but I really encourage you to think otherwise. Before I read Savvy, I was just like you. I thought, how silly is this? But after I read it, I was really challenged and really encouraged to think about my own Savvy. Life may surprise us sometimes. So, if you do read the book, as I highly recommend you do, I hope that you go and you take a journey and discover your own savvy because it's already inside you. You just have to find it. So maybe you're not going to control the weather or send electric shocks everywhere, but your savvy is your own and it's your own niche. It is your own superpower. And maybe you'll be surprised at what you can see. Or in Mib's case, Just full of glitter in the air.